In the hush of West African estuaries, where the continent's great rivers bleed into the Atlantic, a unique world thrives. Here, in the tangled roots of the mangroves, where freshwater and saltwater embrace, life moves to an ancient, silent rhythm. It is a realm of shadows and whispers, a dense living labyrinth of water and wood. This intricate ecosystem, pulsing with unseen energy, conceals one of Africa's most enigmatic and gentle creatures. Deep within these quiet waterways, a gentle giant glides, almost unseen, almost forgotten by the world outside. Its presence is a subtle ripple on the surface, a fleeting shadow in the depths. For centuries, it has navigated these channels, a living relic bound to the pulse of the tides and the secrets of the riverbed. It is a creature of profound stillness, a guardian of these murky waters. This is the African manatee, known to some as the ghost of the mangrove. Its story is written in the water, a quiet epic stretching thousands of kilometers along the coast, from the sun-drenched shores of Senegal to the remote lagoons of Angola. Yet, for a creature of such immense size and range, it remains remarkably elusive. It is a master of quiet existence, a heavyweight phantom that leaves almost no trace. To glimpse one is to witness a secret the estuary has kept for millennia. They surface only for a breath, a brief, quiet exchange with the air before descending back into their hidden world. A moment so fleeting, you might question if you saw anything at all. But for how much longer can this ghost remain? In a rapidly changing world, even the most secluded sanctuaries face new, relentless pressures. The survival of this gentle giant, this shy and peaceful soul, depends on our ability to understand its fragile existence, to listen for its story before the silence becomes permanent. In the quiet, murky waters of Western Central Africa, a gentle giant persists, largely unseen. This is the African manatee, Trichecus senegalensis, a creature of myth and mystery, and the only manatee species found in the Old World. For millennia, it has been a source of local folklore, sometimes revered, sometimes feared, but always shrouded in an aura of the unknown. Separated from its American relatives by the vast expanse of the Atlantic Ocean, it has carved out a unique and solitary existence, evolving in isolation, to become one of the least understood large mammals on the continent. Its story is not written in books, but in the slow currents of the rivers and the silent depths of the coastal lagoons it calls home. Its range is immense, a sprawling territory stretching across more than 7,000 kilometers of coastline and inland waterways, spanning 21 countries. From the Senegal River in the north, through the intricate, life-giving network of the Niger Delta, and all the way down to the Kwanzaa River in Angola, the African manatee navigates a diverse and challenging mosaic of habitats. This remarkable adaptability is key to its survival. It is equally at home in the salty embrace of coastal estuaries and mangrove forests, as it is in the freshwater arteries that reach deep into the continent's interior sometimes traveling hundreds of kilometers upstream in search of food or refuge during the dry season. This is a truly substantial animal, a lumbering herbivore that embodies a slow and deliberate pace of life. Adults typically reach lengths of three to four meters and can weigh between 300 and 500 kilograms with the largest, most robust individuals exceeding even that. Their immense bulk is supported by a slow metabolism, an evolutionary adaptation perfectly suited to their unhurried lifestyle and the warm tropical waters they inhabit. This low energy approach to life, conserving every calorie, allows them to thrive on a diet that many other large animals would find entirely insufficient turning dense aquatic foliage into fuel for their massive bodies.
over muted footage of a manatee gliding. As a dedicated herbivore, the African manatee is a prodigious and unselective eater. Each day, it must consume between 5 and 10% of its own body weight in aquatic vegetation just to sustain itself, a task that can mean eating for 6 to 8 hours. Its diet is varied and opportunistic, shifting with the seasons and location. In coastal areas, it grazes extensively on lush seagrass beds and the nutritious leaves of mangrove trees that overhang the water's edge. Further inland, it feeds on a wide array of freshwater plants, from floating water hyacinths to submerged grasses, using its incredibly dexterous, prehensile upper lip to deftly grasp and guide food into its mouth. The rhythm of its life is often tied to the rising and setting of the sun. The African manatee is largely crepuscular, meaning its activity peaks during the twilight hours of dawn and dusk. Under the cloak of low light, it travels and forages more actively, using the dim conditions to its advantage to avoid both predators and human disturbance. During the intense heat of the day and the deep dark of night, it often retreats to deeper, more sheltered channels to rest, conserving precious energy. Here, suspended in the quiet water column, it can remain submerged for up to 15 minutes before needing to return to the surface for a single gentle breath. Despite its colossal size, it moves with a surprising, almost balletic grace propelled through the water by powerful, deliberate strokes of its large, paddle-shaped tail. It is a master of its aquatic realm, a hidden giant whose presence is a vital sign of the health of West Africa's coastal and riverine ecosystems. As a major consumer of vegetation, it helps keep waterways clear and cycles nutrients through the environment. Yet, for all its size and the vastness of its range, it remains a ghost of the mangroves, a shy, elusive creature whose future is deeply and inextricably intertwined with the fate of these fragile waterways. To understand and protect this gentle behemoth, we must first learn to see it, to trace its movements, and to appreciate its quiet, unassuming but essential role in this vibrant aquatic world. To survive in these veiled, often murky waters, the African manatee has evolved a suite of remarkable adaptations. It all begins with the face. A blunt, prehensile snout, densely packed with stiff vibrissae. These aren't just whiskers. They are an intricate sensory toolkit, a biological marvel. Each individual bristle is connected to a rich network of nerves, transforming the entire muzzle into a highly sensitive organ, almost like a set of fingertips. This allows the manatee to feel, grasp and guide vegetation toward its mouth with astonishing dexterity, a crucial skill in near-total darkness where vision is of little use. This profound tactile sensitivity more than compensates for its small, deep-set eyes. For the manatee, the riverbed becomes a textured landscape it can read by touch discerning the soft leaves of edible plants from the rough surfaces of rocks and wood. Its body is a masterpiece of hydrodynamic efficiency, sculpted by millennia of aquatic life. The iconic grey paddle-shaped tail provides powerful, yet nearly silent propulsion for long-distance travel through open channels. But for delicate, low-speed manoeuvring through the tangled underwater maze of mangrove roots, it relies on subtle, almost imperceptible adjustments of its flippers and body, navigating with a grace that belies its size. Unique among mammals, its lungs are elongated, stretching horizontally along its back. This specialized anatomy acts as a natural buoyancy control system. By regulating the air within them,
the manatee can hover, sink or rise with minimal effort, conserving precious energy for foraging and travel. Algae and mud often cloak their thick, wrinkled skin, providing a living camouflage that makes them appear like drifting logs or mere shadows on the river floor. This profound stillness is a hallmark of their gentle, slow-paced lives, a strategy of energy conservation and predator avoidance. They are quietly social, forming loose, transient aggregations in prime feeding grounds or warm water refuges. The bond between a mother and her calf is particularly strong and vital, lasting up to two years. During this extended childhood, she teaches her young the intricate network of waterways, the locations of safe havens, and the secrets to survival. But this slow reproductive cycle, with females giving birth to a single calf only every few years, makes their populations incredibly vulnerable to any new pressure. And today, the ghost of the mangrove faces an array of modern threats. They become entangled in fishing nets, a tragic and often fatal case of bycatch. In some regions, illegal hunting, though reduced, tragically persists. Worse still, widespread habitat loss from coastal development and the damming of rivers fragments their ancient migratory routes, cutting them off from vital feeding grounds and isolating populations. Yet, across their vast range, a current of hope is building. Conservationists and local communities are forging powerful alliances, working together to establish protected areas and create reporting networks to rescue injured or trapped animals. Innovative research using environmental DNA helps locate these elusive creatures without ever disturbing them. Meanwhile, passive acoustic monitoring listens in on their hidden conversations, decoding the health and behavior of their populations. Every effort is a lifeline, a promise to ensure this hidden giant can continue to glide through Africa's waterways for generations to come. If this story moved you, please subscribe, share and support Manatee Conservation. Thank you.